Good morning, everybody. How you doing on this sunny day? We got a nice blue sky here. Well, the old goat has a uh, question video on my truck here. I got a lot of things, issues here and there, but the, the biggest issue for a number of years has been the cab mounts. I've been checking on YouTube, and uh, there has been no videos that I have been able to find uh, pertaining to how to replace the cab mounts on a Dodge Dakota. So I'm going to show you what I have to do. I personally don't think this is a do-it-yourself video. I have seen cab mounts being replaced, but uh, the ones I've seen done is older pickup trucks would have basically stripped down uh, to new floor panels and everything put in and welded in. That's not the case here. So I want to show you... Okay. This is the left rear cab mount, the driver's side rear cab mount. This bolt is solid, but as you can see, everything is gone here, and the other side is the same way. Now, my dilemma is, first of all, I'm not going to even attempt to take this out, unless I can be very, very sure I can get the right things to go in here. I've never done this, and this is a job I don't, probably would not even attempt myself. But the problem is, you try to remove this, which is solid. The nut is not accessible from the top. It's in this closed channel right here. And it's probably one of those captive nuts, which will break loose, I'm sure, and just spin around, and then you've really got problems. I'll show you the back seat. And I'll show you that there is no access hole in the floor to get at this. It's a royal mess back here. Uh, all this paper and stuff is because I did have a leak in this back window. And I just siliconed the hell out of it and hadn't been any more problems. I just never cleaned it up. But I've had this carpet out. And there is, this is the floor here, the metal floor. There is no access hole, inspection cover or anything to get down there to get the other side of the nut. So you probably have to drill a hole, which you'd have to buy a metal hole saw, which I do not have, and do it. That's why I feel I think it's a job that's probably a pro is going to have to do. But there's no, no way to get, there's no access hole. Take my word for it, I've had this all out. I have to take out this and everything else. It's not even finished. I didn't even finish screwing this back in. Uh, I had this all pushed back, and there is no... It's just like this here. It's all smooth. There's no hole to uh, access the top nut. This is the driver's side front mount. Same, basically the same thing. The frame and stuff is fine. But these are jobs that I don't think I can do. But I just wanted some input from you guys out there. And the other side is just as bad. So basically, the passenger side is just as bad. There's no use uh, me crawling up underneath there on this hill. It's hard to, to do it anyways without moving the truck. So for the record, as I had said so many times, this is a 1991 Dodge Dakota standard cab. So if any ideas on whether or not maybe some of you guys might know whether it's a job that uh, a guy like myself who works out in the yard, has no garage, has no air tools, and has never done this before. Maybe you can give me some hints. Not only that, but what you'd use. I've heard that they use hockey pucks. Using hockey pucks uh, for cab mounts, but you know, there's washers in there and there's bushings in there too that you have to figure also. And uh, from what I understand, trying to drill through a hockey puck is uh, very, very difficult, and the, the, the rubber is way too hard. You kind of like need something uh, like tire rubber or something like that. But getting back to this rear one here, which is easier to see. You can't just stick a hockey puck in here. You need a heavy washer on the top and the bottom. 
uh, and you need probably something under here for rubber and then a, a, a washer here. But you got this shaft, uh, if you don't insulate the shaft from this metal here, when it goes up and down, even though it won't move that much up and down, it's going to make a squeaking sound like it does now. Uh, so you can't just take a hockey puck and stick it in there. You're going to need probably, when you replace this bolt, you probably have to put a piece of garden hose over the bolt so it acts like a insulator between this and the bolt so that the bolt isn't rubbing on the side of this metal in this elongated hole here. Well, larger hole, I should say. It looks like a job that, geez, I don't think I can do, mainly because it's captive in here. In other words, there is no actual knot. Uh, from what I understand, and uh, there's some diagrams on this, and it appears to be like one of those nuts that just lay in a clip way up inside this channel, which you cannot get at. And if you put a, a, a wrench on this and try to break it free, well, most likely the whole thing will just spin around in there, and you'll never get this out. And even if you can cut this off, it, you, you wouldn't be able to get it out of this part. And you wouldn't be able to replace any, you wouldn't be able to put anything in here. So, I don't know. We'll see what you guys think there. This old goat uh, normally don't tackle a job like this. Unlike body work, this is, uh, this is a job for a pro. Okay. Thank you for watching, guys. Take care.